I'm Austin and welcome to the Jans Report. In the news recently, you probably heard about how the price of oil has gone up dramatically and that it will continue to increase due to sanctions against Russian oil because of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Those who follow Canadian politics know that the federal government of Canada plans to increase its carbon tax which will negatively uh, impact the entire country. We will explore whether or not buying an electric car in response to rising gas prices is a viable option. Primary reason an electric car might not be so great is that it requires a battery in order to function properly. Like all batteries, an electric car's owner must ensure the battery is fully charged. Another reason to not get one is the lack of infrastructure to support an electric car, one of which is public charging stations. Canada, according to the Weather Network website, has about 15,000 electric car stations across the nation, but the locations of charging stations can vary depending on which part of Canada you are in. Before buying an electric car, you should also keep in mind that it still has some technological issues. Depending on the type of electric car you get, you might not get the same range as a fossil fuel vehicle. On a full char electric charge, Tesla Model S, a luxury car, can travel up to 610 kilometers, according to the Wild Blocks blog about the benefits of driving an electric car. The distance is long, but the car will also be very expensive, mainly due to it being a top of the line vehicle and coming from a luxury brand. Now, the next point to consider if deciding to purchase an electric car, at least in Canada, is the price of the car itself. Fossil fuel cars continue to be cheaper than their electric counterparts and that their purchase price is higher than what one would pay to purchase a fossil fuel vehicle. Possibly the high cost of the electric car is due to the technology that has been built into them, such as the batteries that are used, which can be expensive to replace and produce. Even so, owning an electric car has some major benefits, especially in Canada, where the federal government mentioned earlier plans to raise the carbon tax on companies and individuals who contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. The Toronto Sun reports that the proposed increase, the carbon tax will add 38 cents per liter to gas prices in Canada, which are already high because of the conflict in Ukraine. As a result, the Canadian economy will experience ripple effects in other areas such as having people to pay more for groceries, which have already seen a price hike because of COVID-19 and other factors. Although it would be sensible to purchase an electric car due to the increase in carbon tax introduced in Canada and the world moving away from fossil fuels, the technology and infrastructure is still lacking. More needs to be done if the world is going to be moving away from cars fueled by fossil fuel and more money needs to be spent on developing the infrastructure that is required to support electric cars by adding more public charging stations or even a charging station similar to a gas station. Of course, the only way I could see that work is if electric cars end up with the ability of having a quick charge instead of having to wait for hours for your car to charge itself. Before I go, here is today's funny picture. I think we can all guess what happens next. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, hit the like and subscribe button to be notified of new amazing content. I will see you all in the next Jan's report.